What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Angel, and welcome back to Angel's Life. Now, I know in the last video, we was talking about how he was gonna stay sane during the quarantine and shit, and the things he was gonna do to, to, to keep ourselves energized and motivated and, and just productive while we were inside for the next 10 days. Y'all, the plans have changed. And now the plans haven't changed because y'all see me outside or nothing like that. Let me tell y'all, the plans have changed because Darius tested positive for COVID. Yes, y'all heard me right. He tested positive for COVID. And the only symptoms that he has had thus far has been a splitting headache and um a really really bad headache and uh what else damn i can't even uh what else golly i can't even remember oh and a cough he's had he has a really really bad headache even though the pills he's been taking has made the headache a little better, but he has a bad headache and a cough. Now, me and Angel, on the other hand, for the most part, he got tested yesterday and tested positive yesterday. Me and Angel, on the other hand, as far as yesterday was concerned, didn't have any symptoms. However, today has proven to be a little different. So, one, just want to let y'all know that I am walking to get, like, I know y'all probably thinking, well, girl, if Darius tested positive, why is you out in these streets? Enough to potentially be affecting people or infecting people. So, one, I am on my way to the hospital to get a COVID test to see if I'm positive as well because as of last night, around nine o'clock i started experiencing symptoms now i haven't had a headache and i have no cough but i have definitely been having body aches okay and believe it or not i took this same walk yesterday in worse weather conditions with angel and a stroller and i damn sure was not this out of breath because it ain't that far of a walk. So a part of me feels like I might have like some shortness of breath too, but not like to where I am gasping for air. I also have the mask on, so I'm sure the mask could be doing me some damage. But the walk to the hospital is a quick walk. They do, so typically what they do is they do like these drive up tests where you just drive up and get tested but we ain't got no damn car we just got here <laughs> and we're gonna have to be quarantined even longer because darius tested positive now if i test positive they're gonna add another day so originally we weren't gonna be able to get out until february 9th but when Darius tested positive, they added two more days onto it. Cause you, so basically like you have to, it has to be 10 days from the start of your symptoms to, oh, thank you. It has to be 10 days from the start of your symptoms until they release you. So yeah. So since he got tested yesterday and popped positive, he is, uh, we won't get out until the 11th now. But if I test today and I'm positive, we won't get out until the 12th, okay? So the days are just adding and adding on. Now, of course, the next step is like, well, when are y'all gonna get angel tested? One, even if I test positive, we're probably not. I think we're just gonna treat angel as if he doesn't have it you know and we're wearing masks around him 
We're not trying to hold him too much, not letting him drink after us or anything like that. Because one, y'all know the test is uncomfortable as hell. And two, or for those of y'all that don't know, the test is uncomfortable as hell. And two, Angel really doesn't have any symptoms. And I know a lot of people say the babies tend to fare a lot better or easier than adults. So we'll just do it that way. But I'm here and people are looking at me crazy because I'm recording, so I'll get back to y'all in a few. Bye. So I just took my test and I was gonna record it, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, believe it or not, it wasn't bad at all. Like the lady who did it, compared to getting it done in New Orleans and coming here, obviously the lady in New Orleans was just incompetent. And I'll explain that story to y'all in a later video. But she was absolutely and completely incompetent. This woman, believe it or not, super easy, super quick. She only did one nostril. So that's that. Hey, thank you. Don't hit me, sir. But um, yeah, so that's where we at. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I definitely think that I have it just because of the muscle aches or body aches that I've been having. Like, I didn't, I didn't have a pain or two. I'm not gonna hold y'all, I had a pain or two. But the, the, the body aches, the ones in my back, and um, in, my, in my arms, in my legs, like just all together. You wanna know what it feels like? It feels like I worked out either yesterday or the day before. And you know how your muscles are just hella sore after a really, really hard workout? That's exactly what it feels like. And it is the most uncomfortable shit. It's just uncomfortable, it's dull. Like, so I took some leave last night and it worked kinda because it didn't, the, the pain didn't bother me while I was sleeping. However, it, once I woke up, like it, I, I'm sore to the touch. I am sore to the touch. And I guess the reason that maybe the pain is so bothersome for me is because I have a two year old. So I'm, I, you know, I'm running after Angel you know playing with him and stuff like that or or whatever having to pick him up or you know so on and so forth and because of that you know I'm constantly moving my body and maybe that is why I feel what I feel or even when I do me like a nice little stretch or something get the blood flowing it just kind of is uncomfortable so let me not be dramatic it's not the most excruciating pain ever no it's not it's not the worst pain i've ever felt no it's not <laughs> but it's definitely just a little uncomfortable and a bit of a nuisance when i'm when i'm in the room and i'm chilling in the room i don't have shortness of breath so this walk has just proven to be something new you know with the shortness of breath thing um if i wasn't on quarantine right now i would give you all a bit of a base tour but since i'm on quarantine and actually you can go outside on quarantine you just can't go around people so but you know with darius testing positive i would just prefer not to put anybody else's life at risk because this virus is fucking serious. So, you know, I would never wanna be responsible for getting anybody sick. So I try my best to stay the fuck inside. But, um, and to be honest, y'all, I'm completely shocked that I even got it, especially saying that we had to get COVID tests two days before we even got here. But the reality is from the way it's looking and when Darius started having symptoms, I'm thinking that we got it in the airport or he got it in the airport and then maybe I just got it from him which is why 
his symptoms showed up a day earlier than mine. That's the only like logical explanation in my mind at least so. Cause I, I will say Darius was a little carefree in the airport compared to me, you know, just being like regular, not giving six feet social distancing when he was standing in line and stuff like that. And I would keep telling him and keep reminding him like, yo, like back up, like move like this, like this, like that, you know. And mind you, when you're traveling for hours and hours and hours, you know, what a baby that's crying and stuff like that, I guess things just slip your mind so that's just my theory though we actually don't know for sure but this is where we at this is where we are and originally he was I think he's still very very scared and I'm kind of scared too but I'm confident and it is maybe because right now my symptoms aren't like crazy you know I'm just hoping that it stays this way you know all I can do is hope for the best but I made it back to the hotel and I have been vlogging that entire time which means it only took me about five minutes and 50 seconds to get back to the hotel so that just kind of lets y'all know how quick and short the how quick and short the walk is okay y'all I'm back what I do want to say is it does suck because we literally went the whole 2020 without, without getting COVID. Come to UK, be here two damn days, and they're like, yeah, you got it. So <laughs> that's not fun. But we're going to roll with the punches and try and get better. In the next video, I will go ahead and reveal my results to y'all even though i'm sure i'm positive too <laughs> but in the next video i will go ahead and give y'all my results and also give y'all what we've been doing to help ourselves feel better or recover faster especially because there are no treatments you know there are no active treatments unless you're like all messed up and you're on a ventilator and that's what we're trying to avoid. So I love you guys so much. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big old thumbs up if it has helped you any. And I will see y'all in the next video. But I gotta change it. Peace.